like I, I have an Antifa flag on my on my wall. Um, and a student complained about that, and he said it made him feel uncomfortable. Well, this is meant to make fascists feel uncomfortable, so if you feel uncomfortable, I, I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> like, I have 180 days to turn them into revolutionaries. How do you do that? How do you scare the fuck out of them? There's a reason why Generation Z, these kids, are, are becoming further and further left. I, I, I probably, uh, as, as far left as you can go. The Sacramento organization that is under the banner of Antifa is, is very loosely organized, right? Um, and like, we, we have no official like member yeah, yeah, list, yeah. right? And Sacramento, uh, you know, as, as the city itself is, is incredibly diverse, but um, we're surrounded so by a bunch of right wing rednecks. Every single one of us can do something. Yeah. I'm not asking you to all be on the front lines, but I am asking you to be involved. And yeah. it is so much more than just sharing a tweet or posting on Instagram. I've gone down those deep, dark rabbit holes where, like, the idea of, like, adventurism and just being like, why aren't people just, like, Taking up arms, like why? Are we, and you know, we have taking up arms like yeah. against the state. We have historical examples of that happening and them getting crushed and being martyrs for a cause. I've had like students show up for like protests, community events, you know, tabling, food distribution, also all sorts of things. So like, they, it's and I do it for extra credit, so they get points for doing it. They when they go, they take pictures, they write up a reflection. That's their extra credit. If you use teachers like you, I think there's more than there used to be, and I, I think that uh, like there's three other teachers in my department that I did my credential program with and they're rad. They're great people. Um, and they're definitely like on the same page. They've got TikTok and right. Well that's just it. It's like utilize that propaganda. These ideologies are considered extremes, right? Extreme times breed extreme ideologies. The revolution that happened in, in 1949 with like Mao and like yeah. the Chinese Party, right? And then like the cultural revolution that happened in the sixties to the seventies up until like Mao's death and then Bang coming in and like opening up to capitalist, you know, kind of investment and, and creating the road that they're currently on um, and then like what Xi Jinping is attempting to do now kind of like going back to more the Maoist understanding of socialism that you needed propaganda of the deed, the economic, and also pop the cultural propaganda as well. You needed to re retrain the way that people think. People were definitely like, you know, shot in the streets that probably shouldn't have been. Consistently focusing on education and a change of cultural propaganda. It's like we have to hit both fronts. We have to convince people that this is what we actually need.